Welcome to hdtvedu.com, direct and simple education in seconds. Welcome. Question number 30. The distance traveled from A to D as in David is 25 meters. The distance travel. Do not forget the distance travel has to be distance travel from A to B plus distance travel from B to C plus distance travel from C to D. Distance is a scalar. Hope you have not forgotten what we know about the problem. It was thrown vertically up at positive 20 meters per second. Acceleration due to gravity is negative 9.8 meters per second per second. We assumed for simplicity, we assumed it was negative 10 meters per second per second. No air resistance. We are very close to the surface of the Earth. Acceleration is a constant. All right. Question number 30. The distance traveled from A to D as in David is 25 meters. True or false? The displacement from A to D is positive 15 meters. The displacement. We are not talking about distance anymore. Displacement. A to D is A to D, D as in David, is positive 15 meters. The distance travel from A to E is 40 meters. What is the distance travel from A to E? A to B plus B to C plus C to D plus D to E. Question number 33, the displacement from A to E is 0 meters. The displacement. 34, the displacement, again displacement, from C to D is negative 5 meters. The displacement from C to E is negative 15 meters. Are you ready for the answers? So let's again review question number 35. Displacement from C to E is negative 15. 34, the displacement from C to D is negative 5. 33, the displacement from A to E is 0. 32, the distance travel from A to E is, the distance travel from A to E is 40 meters. Its distance is always a scalar. The displacement from A to D is positive 15 meters. Number 30, the distance travel from A to D is 25 meters. What is the velocity at point A? 20 meters per second. What is the velocity at point B? Because acceleration due to gravity is pointing down at negative 10 meters per second per second. Last year B, as in boy, will be 20 plus negative 10, which is equal to 10 meters per second. And from 10, after one second, it will be 10 plus negative 10, which will be 0 at point C. And from 0, it will be 0 plus negative 10, and that will be negative 10 meters per second at point D, as in David. So what is the distance travel from A to B? What is the average velocity between A and B? 20 plus 10 divided by 2, which is 15 meters per second. For how long? One second. So A to B is one second. So 15 meters per second times one second is 15 meters. From B to C, what is the average velocity? Velocity at B is 10. Velocity at C is 0. What is the average? 10 plus 0 divided by 2, which is 5. 5 meters per second from B to C is 1 second. So what is the displacement from B to C? 5 meters per, I'm sorry, 5 meters. So 15 meters plus 5 is 20. C to D, you know, is again, uh, the distance is 5. All right, so, so what is the total distance travel? A to B, 15. B to C, 5. C to D, 5. So 15 plus 5 plus 5. 15 plus 10 is 25. So answer is correct. True. 
Question number 31, choose A for true, B for false. The displacement from A to D is positive 15 meters. Where are we at point D as in David? We are 15 meters above point A, correct? 15 meters above point A. So position of D, the vertical position of point D as in David is positive 15. The origin is at point A. So what is the displacement between point A and point D? 15 minus 0, which is 15. The displacement is positive 15. That means what? Point D is 15 meters above point A. Question number 32. The distance traveled from A to E is 40 meters. What is the distance traveled from A to C? Well, from 20 meters per second, it becomes the velocity becomes 10 meters per second at point B as in boy. From B, it becomes 0 meters per second at point C. So what is the average velocity between point A and point C? 20 plus 0 divided by 2, which is 10 meters per second. 10 meters per second is the average velocity between points A and C. But the time it takes to go from point A to point C is 2 seconds. So 10 meters per second times 2 seconds gives you 20 meters. So the displacement between point A and point C is 20 meters. So what is the distance from A to C? 20 meters. Point E is at the same position as point A in terms of vertical position. So what is the vertical displacement between point A and point E? Zero. But we are not asked for the displacement. We are asked for the distance traveled from A to E. That means you have to add up all the distances. So A to C is 20. C to E is 20. So you get 40 meters. True. 32 is true. 33, the displacement from A to E is 0 meters. Oh, very true. Displacement from A to E. A and E are exactly the same. So, what is the displacement, the vertical displacement, is zero. Question number 34, choose A for true, B for false. The displacement from C to D is negative five meters. C to D, initial position is C, final position is, is D. And you know that D is below point C. So what does that mean? the displacement between C and D is going to be negative because the final position is below the initial position. Or we can just look at it. The position of D is 15 meters above point A, correct? Position of point C is 20 meters above point A, correct? So what is 15 minus 20? Negative 5. 35, the displacement from C to E, C to E is negative 15 meters. The displacement from C to E is negative 15 meters. Position C is positive 20. Position E is 0. So what is final minus initial? 0 minus 20, which is negative 20. So 35, answer is false. Well, thank you all. And this is George Matthew signing off. Good luck.